Hey everyone, welcome back to the JavaScript course. So in this video, we'll be looking into the map filter and reduce methods instead of JavaScript. And if you find this interesting, let's get started right away. So in this video, we'll be exploring about uh, some exercise problems inside of uh, map filter and reduce. Okay. So inside my VS code, I opened up my index.html file, my style.css file as well as my script.js file. Okay. So there is some basic boilerplate code that is present inside my index file, as you can see. And inside my style.css file, there is some basic styling given. Okay, so this was from the previous uh, program. So let's remove that out. So this is the basic styling that we have from uh, inside my style.css. And inside my script.js, there is some basic data that we have used. Okay, and at the bottom, we have some questions to be so that are to be solved. Okay, so we look into that. Okay, so now let's start solving these questions with uh, the help of the data that we have. Okay, so uh, basically, we have uh, six questions okay so let's look into the data first so we have employees array okay so each so it's basically an array of objects that we have and so each of them has a unique id as you can see and each of them has a name uh, years attribute and then a age factor and a position okay so either it is employee or it is an intern okay so based on this data we'll be solving the questions over here okay so let's look into the first question that is uh, return the name of the person in capital letters okay so basically uh, we need to go to the name of each and every object that is present inside the employees data and then we're going to return it in capital letter okay so we'll be making use of the map filter and reduce for this okay so uh, just to recap a bit so map is used to uh, basically return a whole new array for each and every uh, array element that is basically from the calling function whereas filter uh, works on the condition check okay so if the condition we give uh, inside the filter method is true then that particular uh, item is pushed into the array okay else it is not considered if it is not true and reduce basically returns a single value uh, after uh, after using the reduce okay it's going to take in basically the accumulator and the current value and we can even provide the initial value as well okay so for the first one let's see which can we use okay so since we need to change the name of all of them we'll be making use of the map method over here okay so the next one also it's, it's going to be similar that is written the name of the person in small words okay so for this also it's going to be map it's exactly the opposite of this so let's write map over here and the next one is return the name of the person whose age is greater than 30 right so here the, they are asking us to basically check the condition and return the name of the person whose age is greater than 30 right so for this method we'll be making use of the filter okay so the next thing is return basically the sum of all of the ages okay so we also know that the reduce method is going to return a single value so here also we need to return the sum which is a single value so for that reason we'll be just showing uh, i mean we'll, we'll just be making use of the the reduce method so let's write that over here okay so the fifth question is basically to return the name of all employees okay so basically uh, we have employees over here so we, we just need to return the name okay we have even employees and we have interns okay so basically we need to apply a condition and we need to check if the position given for for that particular object is a uh, employee or it is an intern okay so for that reason uh, since this is a condition check we'll be making use of the a filter method over here and over here also it's going to be similar that is five and six are super similar over here we need to find employees over here we need to find interns okay so it's gonna be filter method again okay so the first one is uh yeah return the name of person in capital so let's write that out with the map method we're gonna say const names equals to let's target the employees data so employees dot map so for each and every employee inside our employee data we are going to return employee Where is that employee dot name and since we need to convert it into uh, capital letters we're going to say to lowercase i mean to uppercase like this and save the file so let's do console.log of names so pretty much you should see all the names coming up in uh, uppercase value yeah so there you go uh, you can see all the names which are in uppercase letters that's working absolutely fine so similarly we'll be making use of uh, the next method 
that is basically uh, we need to make we need to return the names of person in small words okay so i'm gonna say con small words equals to employees dot map for each and every employee inside our map i mean inside our data we're gonna say employee dot name dot to lowercase like this okay it's gonna be super similar to the first one and we're gonna say console dot log of small words like this all right so save the file let's come back to the console yeah so you can see all the letters i mean all the uh, words that is the names coming in small words okay so the next thing is basically return the name of the person whose age is greater than 30 okay so we'll be making use of filter method, uh, method for this so we're going to say const age equals to employees dot filter okay so for each and every employee inside our array okay what we're going to do is we're going to say employee dot age should be greater than 30 right so that's the condition uh, right that we have given yeah so that's it so let's save the file so basically we are applying the condition uh, for each and every employee inside our employees data so if any of the condition becomes true then that particular uh, data is pushed into this age uh, array right so we're going to say console.log of h so save the file so we should pretty much get uh, this as output the third object this one and basically yeah, the first three we should get as the output the, the last one is excluded because the age is 20 right so let's check out our console yeah we are getting uh, three and yeah so the last one is excluded we are getting correctly but the question says we need to just return the names right over here we are returning the objects so let's exactly think how we can return that so since even this is an array let's map over this okay so this is going to have uh, two methods basically so after filter we're just going to pretty much map over this age array and for every employee again we're going to return the name because that's what we want inside the question right so we're going to say employee dot name as such okay so let's pretty much save the file so now we should be only seeing names in the console yeah so there you go so these are the uh, people with age greater than 30 right so the next thing we look into is uh, return the sum of all ages using the reduce method so we're going to say const sum equals to employees dot reduce this is going to take in the accumulator and the current value basically so accumulator uh, is initially set to zero and current is, sub is pointing to each and every object that is present inside our data that is our employees array so okay so we're going to pretty much add the values so since current is pointing to each and object each and every object we're going to return the sum of it right so basically we need to target the age okay i think that's what we need to target so it's going to be current dot age and we'll, we'll be providing an initial value of zero okay so it starts from zero that is basically the sum so let's console.log the sum all right let's come back and check inside our console we should get around 140 yeah 149 is the correct answer okay so that's it about the reduce method so the next thing we move on to is basically return the names of all employees okay so we're gonna say const employee names equals to we'll be making use of the filter method over here so it's going to be employees dot filter for each and every employee we're going to say employee dot position should be equal equal to employee okay and after that we're going to pretty much map over it okay and for each and every employee we're going to return the name of the employee it's going to be employee dot name okay so now let's pretty much save the file so it's going to be console.log of employee names as such okay so let's pretty much save the file out so we should get pretty much employee in the sense the third one and the first one okay so id 111 and 123 is the answer okay uh, so we pretty much we should get the names right because we have just even done the map method on it so we should get the first and third one that's correctly showing us okay yeah so the next thing is pretty much similar we need to show the name of all interns okay so we're gonna say const interns equals to employees dot filter for each and every employee okay we're gonna say employee dot position equals equals to intern as such 
in turn and will be map mapping through this array so for each and every employee return the employee dot name okay so that's it about the interns part so console dot log of interns okay so save the file so pretty much you should get uh, this one emmet foster and the second one okay so let's check that out on the console yeah so that's working absolutely fine so i think that's it about the basics of i mean the uh, the basics of uh, the map filter and reduce methods okay we have solved all this pretty much six questions and understood how exactly all of the methods work we also uh, have done the chaining as well that is uh, working with filter as well as the map method so i think that's it about this video so let's see you in the next video and then thank you for watching